I've never done this before, so I'm going to try to show how I've got this set up. <clears throat> so this is my Polaris with the Astro kit attached. It's in its parked state on my tripod. The tripod has been leveled and everything is, is ready to go. I've got the supplied USB-C cable here. The Astro kit I've connected with a little cable here. Um, so it just goes from the little extra port on the Astro kit itself to the extra port on the Polaris. And then uh, everything else is, is fairly clear, I think. Um, I'm gonna turn it on by hitting the on button, the big red button, quickly once and then holding it until it does that. And that will cause the device to open up. So it's now on and I believe it's in the parked position. I've just realized I don't have a controller with me, so I'm gonna go get my iPad to control it. Hold on. All right, so now I've got the Polaris app on my iPad attached. I've got the camera attached as well. So it's a, a Canon. So I've got the um, this USB-C cable going from the port over here, across the front, into the camera port, in front of the device. The camera's been turned on and I have it going on manual mode. And it's, if you, unfortunately, one of the things I don't like about the system is that you can't actually see the control on the, on the um, viewfinder or on the LCD screen when the Polaris is connected as it now is. But I have it set to shoot in both RAW and JPEG. This seems to be something that the Polaris requires, um, which I, I don't normally shoot that way, but that's the way it has to be. Right, so now I'm gonna put this back down and use my, my iPad to control this. Um, it is not currently in the home position. So in order to put it in the home position, you're gonna tap the two virtual joysticks on the app and that will put the device in its home position like that okay i'm then going to go into the app again and hit the home button and then at the top where there is a little um, looks like a camera you tap on that and go to astro when you go to Astro, it asks you to calibrate. And so here's, here's what it looks like. It's gonna keep rotating, but in order to calibrate it, you hold the phone or whatever you're using parallel to the ground, facing the opposite direction to the camera, which I have to say I find weird. And then you hit the calibrate button. And then that should say confirm. You click on the confirm button and then it will tell you that you need to align the Polaris with stars. Uh, now, unfortunately, we have an overcast day, so it's going to be um, challenging to find the sun, but I'm going to give it a go. So you tap on the little star with a magnifying glass on it. You choose whatever object you want to aim for. I'm going to choose the sun, and you tap go to. And the device should start going. Now, so far, it's going in the right direction. So it, it has gone more or less to the right spot. I think it's probably a couple of degrees off where it should go. So I'm gonna use the joystick to turn it a little bit further to the west because it's, um, it's past noon here. And this I have to say, I find a little bit challenging, uh, especially when there's no actual sun out. But once you get there, you should have the little target in the center of the screen, which you want to have overlapping with whatever the target is that you're aiming for. 
And once you've got that, you click on the confirm button on the screen and it will say alignment is successful and it starts tracking once you hit the little start tracking button uh, on the bottom. And you'll see it then says tracking with an on off icon. You can then click on the star search button and choose another object you might want to aim for. Uh, again, we're overcast right now, but I'm going to say, just for the sake of nothing, uh, Venus. And so then the device starts looking for Venus. And supposedly that's it. Again, I can't see anything right now, but I hope that's correct. And then from there, you can do your shooting. You tap on the top left-hand corner where your controls are, and you can adjust what your exposure length will be. Say 1 1 25th. You can adjust your f-stop. You can adjust your ISO, your white balance. And then, granted, since it's daytime here, this is going to be fast. Uh, and then once you've chosen that, you tap the green button and hold it up, hit begin. It should shoot, and then you see the picture show up on your screen. And then that's pretty much it. Um, in order to do anything else, you need to stop the tracking. And I'm going to pack up the device right now because it's starting to rain. Um, so I'm going to put it back into its home position by double tapping the two controls for the um, joystick. So that puts it back in its home position and if you notice it also puts the charging port in a position where when if you do park it it won't be blocked by the um, by the knobs so i'm now going to turn off the camera i'm going to remove the camera i'm going to turn off the polaris and the way i do that is by holding the red button until it beeps and then I'm going to park it by holding that red button again until it beeps and does that little uh, backing up sort of motion or sound. And that's it.